It's a warm summer's day in South Zealand. In this drill village, the bonus of Titus son has the workers in his mill. Mill joins the river air and brothers mine. And threading its way between the mill buildings is the leads that are going to build to 120 miles to the two great cities. Except for a public house, so Titus didn't wish to lead his employees astray. The village contained all the workers but me, including shops, hospital, church, and the school. In the centre is the Victoria Hall, offering a facility for cultural and sporting interests. This is the Hall of the Salter World Center, one of the finest ex cinema organs still in use. So the organ here at the Victoria Hall Saltaire was one of 99 that were uh, shipped across from uh, the Willitzer Company in the States across to England between 1924 and 1939. And this was installed in 1937, so it was one of the later ones. It was installed in the Gilmont Oldham and was used there for organ interludes and possibly some broadcasting, we're not so sure about that. And it was quite successful and popular, but in 1961 the cinema had to close and the organ was bought by the Cinema Organ Society. So it's quite an early example of preservation of a cinema organ. Uh, it was moved to a venue in Hampthway near Harrogate and was installed there and finally opened in around 1966, I think. And uh, it was used there for a number of years, for both for concerts and people could go and just put money in a meter and play it. After the owner of the hall at Amsway died, we had to remove the organ and for a short period it was installed in the Trinity Arts Centre Pudsey, quite successfully. Unfortunately the venue wasn't so successful, so it was removed and then reinstalled in the Ritz Cinema Brick House and I was a project manager for that. And that was an interesting project because the cinema at Brick House had two organ chambers, even though it had never had an organ. And so we installed the organ there, we had to build uh, dressing rooms to replace those that had been in the former chamber space. The organ worked really well at the Ritz. It was used for dancing as well as for concerts. But sooner or later the owners wanted to retire and so we removed it and at last it was installed in the venue which actually was one of our favoured venues right from the beginning. And so the organ was reinstalled here at the Victoria Hall Salter in 2009. David was asked, what purpose does an organ here serve? I suppose some would say it's just sufficient to say that the preservation of a historic instrument is good enough, but actually it goes a lot further than that because we want to not only preserve the organ and enhance it and make it available for people to play, but also to present it in concerts, presenting as a, an instrument that's used for dancing, and also more recently we've used it in combination with a, a big band, for example. As David mentioned, it is important that the organ is used season includes some tent dances. Here, Mark's paid to entertain on a Sunday afternoon. from the Blackpool Tower played for ballroom dancing.
But for now, we continue with memory from Cass. Thank you very much. So before each concert or major event, the organ is tuned, and that's nearly a thousand pipes. And we do this by selecting a rank of pipes, which in this case is a violin, which is nice and steady. And so we can lay a scale on that. And then having done that, put simply, we tune the rest of the organ to that. This involves someone pressing the individual keys, whilst David makes an adjustment for each pipe. As has already been mentioned, events take place where the organ is not the only attraction. The Gordon Tetley Big Band have been performing for 50 years, 50 years of making music, and what better way to celebrate that than a fabulous concert here in this very building in the heart of Saltaire. I've been uh, performing for silent films now for uh, about nine years. Um, it all started off at Bradford Cathedral just down the road from here on the cathedral organ where we used to have a series of silent films going on every season. So here we are tonight doing one of Harold Lloyd's films in the first half, one of his shorts, 25 minute comedy version, and we'll also be doing The General featuring Buster Keaton, which of course is well known to many silent cinema goers. Obviously one has to know the organ well. You're playing in fairly dark circumstances downstairs in the pit, so you can't see an awful lot uh, barring the little LED lights above the console. And of course, it's really important that you know the film well. Um, for me personally, I tend not to score things 
prior to the film. I watched the film a few times on the day of the performance to refresh my memory, work out where the cue cards are, work out the sequence that things are going to happen, and then what happens on the night happens on the night. Richard Stevenson explains his role and that of the Organ Society. Yes, I'm the Northern District Secretary and Trustee. The, the role of the Cinema Organ Society is to preserve cinema organs um, and present them in the best possible way to the public. A lot of the money goes back into the organ because obviously the organs are quite old. This one in particular is 1937 and it does cost quite a lot of money to do um, refurbishment, renovation, repairs. Uh, it's quite specialist work and obviously after so many years it's coming round where it needs uh, work doing. So any profits get ploughed back into the instrument really. No doubt that we have here at Victoria Hall a world-class world. It's a, one of the finest not only in the country but in the world. So anybody in the area, you know, if you pass in, please come along and come and enjoy the sounds of the mighty Saltaire Wurlitzer. Regular audience members give their impressions of concerts at the Victoria Hall. Well, the first one that you invited us to, I was a bit hesitant, not a hesitant, I wanted to go, but... Yeah, I went with an open mind as to whether it would be something I would enjoy, but I was prepared to go and give it a go. And I was very, very pleasantly surprised at how much I did enjoy it. And that's why I've been to several more since. And watching the feet on those <laughs> pedals and the... The, the symbols. The symbols. <laughs> and you just watch it and then... You know, they say women can multitask, but those people can when they've got <laughs> hands on different levels of the keyboard. Then they're pulling out a stop, and then they're pushing in another stop, and the feet are going on those pedals. It's, exactly. it, it's fascinating. Yeah, so I enjoyed it very much. Very nice programme for an hour or so. Again, you can relax with tea, coffee, beautifully served. Second half, you can chat to the organist, at half time or at the end of yeah. the day. Um, a good variety of music, wasn't yeah. there? From like the classical to the modern to shows and, you know, a, a good variety. Yeah. yeah. And being a native of Blackpool, I must have an affinity deep in my soul. <laughs> the Salt Air Wellington provides an important reminiscence of a bygone era and entertainment for today's audiences.